Hello. Welcome back to the Tekimika video abstract. The following content will be presented by the voices of Paul and Jane. Please enjoy the presentation. It is with you, Paul. Thank you. Thank you, Mary, for your introduction. The content of the manuscript, Use of RGB as a Quantitative Method Applied to the Teaching of Analytical Chemistry, was created by Pedro Henrique Fonseca Veloso, Veronica de Mello Sacramento, and Vanessa de Andrade Royo. Background The use of alternatives for teaching analytical chemistry in undergraduate studies has been a challenge for teachers since most methods require high-cost equipment and functional analytical skills. This work presents the use of RGB, an additive color system in digital media, as a method of quantifying a given analyte in samples. Aims To analyze different samples containing different concentrations of coffee, comparing them using two techniques, one, spectrophotometry and two, RGB, and then perform the calculations for the determination of an unknown concentration. Methods, eight samples were prepared, six with defined concentrations of coffee, one in white, and one without a defined concentration. Method 1 used the spectrophotometer to read the absorbance at 420 nanometers wavelength for melanoidin reading. In method 2 the RGB was used, positioning buckets in front of a digital screen emitting light at the corresponding wavelength. Microsoft PowerPoint was used to collect RGB and Microsoft Excel data for data processing. Results. The data obtained through the analytical equipment, as well as those obtained via RGB, were able to estimate the unknown concentration of coffee. Both techniques estimated a concentration between 3 and 4 percent, both with the line equation and R squared capable of estimating values corresponding to the concentrations of the samples. Discussion. The RGB technique has been studied in recent decades, mainly for colorimetric analyses, since it makes available in an accessible way for study or laboratory experiments. Bringing the student closer to the spectrophotometric technique, promoting scientific development, and elaborating on the hypothesis about the use of technology as an analysis tool. Conclusions. Experimental practices promote the development of research, which guide both teachers and students in the use of new technologies and in the development of new activities aimed at teaching. This work opens a range for the use of tools and methods of low cost, and easy access. Back to you Mary. Thank you, and goodbye. If you found this abstract interesting, please visit our website and download the full content of this manuscript. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you again at our next presentation.